so the next test here. Test 4.2a. Okay. This is under our exercise. 4.2 question B1 textbook we'll find on page 80 so open your textbook to page 80 and we'll start it read the, let me read the question once find the roots of the following quadratic equation equations by factorization so we are going to start solving quadratic equation by the first algebraic method that is by factorization so b1 subheading 1 so here we are given x square minus 3x minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so we have to solve this quadratic equation by <coughs> factorization now by factorization we mean how do we do that? So let us closely observe that. First thing we keep in mind is the power of the variables are in descending order usually. Okay, so here variable is x. So x to the power 2 highest first place, x to the power 1 second place. And the term having no x that is 10 here is in the third place. First place term. First term let it be x squared, then second place term, x and the third place now let us make sure we arrange in the descending order of the power of the variable letter. Then second thing, first thing and second thing is factorization. For that you take, there are three terms here on the left side. So multiply the first and the third term. Okay, the number will be enough. Here no sign, so plus one. So plus into minus. On your rough you do the minus. And the number here plus one. So one tens are. Then multiply the number as well as the number as well as the sign okay including the sign plus and the minus so once you multiply the first and the third term one two three terms are there then you're going to split the middle term and i write the middle term at the top of the product of first and third term is minus 10 over that you write the middle term which is the number is enough minus three along with the sign then we're going to find factors of 10 which will match up first as i said arrange them in descending orders x square in first place x and not x in third place then multiply first and third term you got minus 10. write the middle term on top of that and then split this 10 which is the product of first and third term to match up this one the third thing how do we do that this is important listen so many factors that we can get of 10 for example you can follow me with your pencil if you want or pen 10 ones are these two multiplied give you this means 10 and 1 are the factors of 10. you can start doing like that okay and then you add 10 plus 1 yes 11 and that does not match this tree so we cannot do that then do the other one also 10 minus 1 yes 9 so 10 plus 1 11 10 minus 1 9 those two both 11 and 9 does not match the middle term so we reject this this factor 10 into 1 is not going to work out because it doesn't match up this one we have to split this 10 into two factors such that their sum or subtraction will yield exactly minus 3 so 10 and 1 doesn't work so we cancel that and go to another 5 2 are 10 also is going 5 plus 2 7 doesn't match 3 5 minus 2 3 it seems to be matching but we're not sure we have to make sure okay now this since this is minus 3 we bigger one is 5 bigger to 2 so put minus here and plus here and let us see now you will get bigger one up and smaller one down then subtraction 5 minus 2 3 and bigger one is minus we get minus so exactly these two subtraction is going to give minus three so matching one but we have to match it in two condition the first condition is their addition or subtraction should exactly match the middle term 
with this and sign also not only the number value but sign also is matching now you multiply first is substrate or add then you're getting middle term then second one is multiply then my minus into plus minus five twos are ten so when you multiply product of minus five and plus two is minus ten which is exactly matching this so when you add or subtract it should match exactly the middle term not only in value but sign also like this minus three when you multiply them you get your minus 10 which should exactly match this number the product of the first and the third term that is how we split middle term so this is the correct one we're going to use these two now so to split the middle term this is called splitting the middle term involved in factorization so we write your x square then here you go in place of minus 3x we're going to write minus 5x plus here 2x because combined that will give you minus 3 multiplied that will give you exactly minus 10 so minus 2 minus 5x plus 2x is minus 3x has this 2 has replaced minus 3x then we get here same thing minus 10 equal to 0. this step is called splitting middle term and we do it by this method and we get here one two three and now we have one two three four terms because the middle term is split into two this is the first step in factorization then you take the first two and take the highest common factor means the highest common factor means the factor present in both which is highest x is here x is also here so take out x and x into x is x square then plus into minus minus x has been taken out of the bracket so inside will be five so the highest common factor of these two is x we have taken out likewise take the highest common factor of these two plus two x and minus ten i think plus two is the highest common factor two is here also two fives are ten so if you take out two then inside the bracket will be x plus into minus minus match it up and two how much is ten two fives are ten yes so we have got it these two highest common factor taken out these two highest common factor taken out and we've done it and the next step we're going to factorize splitting middle term second step now in this step factorization so here consider this as two terms now x into x minus 5 as one term 2 into x minus 5 as one term then in these two terms one and two terms between them plus sign common factor is which one yes x minus 5 here here also x minus 5 so take that x minus 5 outside the bracket these two common outside so if you take x minus 5 outside inside this new bracket x will be there x minus 5 outside so inside this bracket will be plus 2 is equal to here 0 so this is called factorization so if we read we were going to read it as x minus 5 into x plus 5 which means the left side is factorized this is called factorization so x minus 5 into x plus 2 equal to 0 means that means either the first factor here x minus 5 will be equal to 0 i'll explain why as we finish it and that implies because this here x minus 5 into x plus 2 equal to 0 means if the product of these two is equal to 0 either this should be 0 or this should be 0 or both should be 0 because unless one of them is 0 how can the multiplication come out 0 only when uh, one number is 0 right hand side will be 0 no, 3 0 is a 0 or 0 in the 3 one of them has to be 0 or both has to be 0 then only right side will be 0 so x minus 5 into x plus 2 equal to 0 indicates or implies that the first factor should be 0 or at least second factor so first factor we're taking then we're going to get here x equal to minus 5 shift to right side become plus 5 plus 0 means you can neglect 0 or second factor which is this one x plus 2 will be either this will be 0 or this will be 0 now we're doing this as 0 suppose then you're going to get here x equal to shift this to right side and plus 2 become minus 2 so our answer is therefore the required roots are because the question is saying find the roots look there 
from the roots of the following quadratic equation equations by factorization so roots means the values of x x so the roots are 5 and here minus 2 so these are the two roots so this is how we solve by factorization by splitting the middle term let's go to the next one subheading 2 okay so subheading 2 here we are given Subheading 2 is uh, 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So as I said just now, three things we have to keep in mind. The first x square in the first place, x in second place, and the term having the third term having no x in the third place, already arranged. And second step, multiply first and third term, 1, 2, 3. So plus into minus, minus 2, 6 are. Uh, 12 and you get that number and get ready to split then the middle term you find out next step so multiply these two arrange them then find the product of first and third term second third thing you write the middle term one two three so middle term is plus x so plus x means the number is plus one is the middle number now find a product after that find a product of this 12 that will match up these two on addition or subtraction so let us do that trial and error i'm doing just now later on we can start doing directly once we get it very clearly now six two are 12 is also a factor of 12. six plus two eight doesn't match one six minus two four so this is definitely not going to work then we go to the next factor and you can trial by error try and by trial and error four trees are 12 another factor four minus one oh, sorry four minus three one seems to be matching but here the middle term is plus so put bigger one plus smaller one minus then we're going to get plus one exactly matching this then multiply these two minus four into minus three Oh, sorry, plus 4 into minus 3, plus into minus, minus, 4 trees are 12, minus 12, exactly matching. So multiplying these two, exactly matching minus 12, it should be like that. Subtracting the two or adding the two, in this case we have to subtract because one is plus and the other is minus, then it should be exactly the middle term. Multiply, it should be exactly this, minus 12, so this is the correct one. Plus 4 and minus 3 is going to replace the middle term plus 1 now. So 2x squared plus 4x and then minus 3x because middle term is x minus this one same 6 equal to 0. That is the correct one. This is the most important step. Once we get this correct, the rest is quite easy, right? So common factor highest is the 2, you find out it is 2x. Here 2x is here, 2x is here. 2x into x is x squared, 2x squared plus into plus plus 2x into 2 then 4x already x outside so 2 twos are 4 and x here here the highest common factor of minus 3 and 6 is minus 3 so take it out minus 3 gone outside inside x this is minus be careful minus into minus if we put will be plus so it doesn't match so it should not be plus it should not be minus minus into minus plus but this is minus so Minus in the plus, then only it's going to be minus. Minus in the plus, minus. Now matching 3, how much is 6? 2 is 6. Then you get equal to 0. I take this as first term now, second term. Only two terms left, let us say. Then the common factor of these two terms is x plus 2. Here also x plus 2. So take that x plus 2 outside of the bracket, of this bracket. Then inside the bracket will be 2x x plus 2 has gone outside so inside this bracket will be minus 3 this is outside this is to 0 so as i said this is called factorization step therefore either the first factor x plus 2 here which should be 0 because their product is 0 that implies x should be equal to plus 2 shift right side minus 2 or the second factor 2x minus 3 
this one should be equal to 0 and if that is so then 2x don't move minus 3 move to right side become plus 3 then here x will be equal to 3 and this 2 will come down so our answer will be the required roots means the values of x are called roots are what mm, first one minus 2 and the second one 3 by 2 these two so it's matching okay let's go to the third one third one this is the most important thing okay i think you're getting it now for next one i'm not going to do directly now next three here given to you or rather given to us is page 80 root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 we have so first thing arrange them in descending order of x power x square first x second no x third place already arranged so now multiply first and third term first second third plus into plus plus in the rough root 2 into root 2 2 right root 2 into root 2 2 and 2 5s are 10 so root 2 into 5 root 2 will be plus 10 now split this so we are going to get middle term and middle term is clearly plus 7 as i said we have to now find factor of 10 that will match this in addition or subtraction and on multiplication should match this on addition or subtraction should match the middle term 5 i'm doing directly the right one 2 is at 10 mega or 2 5 is at 10 whatever if we put both plus here then plus 5 plus 2 is plus 7 matching middle term it should match on addition or subtraction so plus 5 plus 2 is plus 7 exactly matching middle term multiply plus into plus plus 5 2 is 10 exactly matching this plus 10 which is the product of first and the third term so this is the correct one so that step here root 2 x square same thing and now this is going to be split up into 7x is plus 7 is going to be split up with plus 5 plus 2 so plus 5x plus 2x is plus 7 replacing this plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 and then we have here common factor here x is there here also x so take out the common factor x before that uh, okay you can do that x then inside will be root 2 and x square so one more x is here x into x x square root 2 inside plus x is outside so here only inside will be plus 5 plus 2x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0 keep this for some time we want to do something then next here this part is factorized so just write the same without bothering yourself with that anymore and here we can do like this this is root 2 and 2 can be changed into root 2 into root 2 is 2 root 3 into root 3 is 3 so root 2 into root 2 likewise is 2 so this 2 can be replaced by root 2 into root 2 then x plus this one you can write same 5 root 2 equals 0 <coughs> why did we do that just to match up this common factor root 2 that way root 2 expresses root 2 root 2 means you can take out the common factor root 2 next year x into root 2 x plus 5 then here common factor is root 2 root 2 so take out root 2 if you took out root 2 out of the bracket then inside will be another root 2 exists there and here plus root 2 has gone outside means inside will be 5 then that will be equal to 10 then next here take this as two term first and second term then the common factor is 2 root 2 x plus 5 root 2 x plus 5 so that common factor root 2 x plus 5 you take out of the bracket outside means inside will be x 
Now this has been taken out, so inside will be plus root 2 equal to 0. So there are two factors now. Take the first factor, either root 2x plus 5 will be equal to 0. Or that implies root 2x, the term containing x, keep it, and plus 5 shift right side, that will become minus 5. Then x, you write, is equal to minus 5. And root 2 into means, if you shift right side, will come to denominator, root 2. First answer. Or, you can write here, second factor, x plus root 2 is equal to 0, this one equal to 0. So that gives you x will be equal to, shift this to right side, and minus root 2. Therefore, the required roots are, okay, first value of x, minus 5 by root 2, comma, and, or, you can just write n, and the second value, minus root 2. So these are the two answers. I think matching the book answer, yes. One, two more questions, four and five. Let's do that. So let's go to four. Fourth one, let me write down. <coughs> one, subheading four. Here given to us is <coughs> 2x squared minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have here denominator. We don't want that. So let's deal with that. So this 8 will multiply this. 8 to the 16 x squared. Likewise, 8 will multiply this plus and minus minus 8 into x, 8x plus here the same one because it is along with 8. 8 will multiply only these two. This one, 16, this one, minus 8, and then here 1. Long line, because it has multiplied both these, divided by LCM now 8, equal to 0. Then here, 16x squared minus 8x plus 1, equal to 0. No need to write this. If you shift this down, it will go up and multiply 0. 0 into 8 will be 0. Or if you want, you can keep it written also once. See here now. Arranged x square x no x. So multiply first and third term plus into plus plus 16 ones are 16 and split it to compare with the middle term and middle term is here clearly minus 8 So I'm just going to do directly The right one so I know a factor can work as four fours are 16 These two multiply should always give this okay now if I put both minus then minus 4, minus 4 will become addition, and plus 8, minus and minus and minus. So minus 4, minus 4 is minus 8, matching. Multiply, minus and minus, plus 4, 4 is 16, exactly matching. Multiply, matching, plus 16. Addition, matching, minus 8. So this is the right one, minus 4, minus 4. So that will split the middle term, minus x, 8x will be split into minus 4x, minus 4x, with this minus 4, minus 4. Then here, plus 1. 0 into 8 is 0, sorry. Then next, common factor of this 16x squared minus 4x. You take out 4x because this is the highest common factor. 4x into 4x is 16x squared. 4 fours are 16. x into x, x squared. Then plus into minus, minus. 4x has gone outside. Everything means 4x into... 1 is 4x. The next year minus, because there is a minus here. 4 and 1 common factor is 1 only, so I take that out. Minus into plus is minus. 1 fours are 4x, 1 into 4x, minus 4x. Minus into minus, plus. Has to match this plus, minus into plus. If I put plus, then it will become minus into plus, minus, which does not match this. So minus into minus is the correct one. 1 ones are 1 is equal to 0. So in these two factors, common factor is 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1. So I take that out, this common factor bracket, outside of the new bracket. This has gone outside, means inside the new bracket will be 4x. This has gone out, so this inside will be minus 1 is equal to 0. So that gives you either 
the first factor 4x minus 1 will be equal to 0, this one. That implies 4x will be equal to minus 1, shift to right side will be plus 1. And x will therefore be 1, 4 into means coming down. Or the same one, next one here again, 4x minus 1 equal to 0. So 4x will be, shift this to right side, will be plus 1. x will be equal to 1 by 4. Same answer, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So I can write the final answer. After writing this, you can say, therefore, the required roots of this quadratic equation are x value 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. Same as textbook answer. One more question, so let us complete it in this class itself. Quite simple, right? Okay, so the next one, the last one. Here given to us number five. Hundred x square minus twenty x plus one is equal to zero. I think it's already arranged. X square second place x, no x term, third place. So multiply first and third term now. Plus into plus, plus, 100 ones are 100. And write the middle term here, minus 20 on top of it. I'll just go straight to the right one. 10 tens are 100. If I put both here minus, because this is minus, then I'm going to get minus 10. Minus 10 means addition, minus 20, matching. Multiply minus to minus, plus, 10 tens are 100. Matching, multiply, matching plus 100, addition, matching minus 20 middle term. So this is correct. So 100x squared minus 10x minus 10x, replacing minus 20x, this one minus 10 minus 10, then this one plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, so here, next year, 110, common factor is 10. x squared and x means x. So 10x into 10x is 100x square. So 10 tens are 100. x into x, x square. 10x is exactly taken out. So plus and minus, minus. 10x into 1, 10x. The next is minus, so we put the minus. 10 and 1, highest common factor is 1 only. x is here and not here, so we cannot take out x. Okay, so 1 into 10x is 10x. Minus into minus is plus. 1 ones are 1 is equal to zero. Okay, so here we took out only one because 10 and one highest common factor is one. We couldn't take x out because there is no x here, you see. So here 10x minus one, 10x minus one is the highest common factor. So 10x minus one out of the bracket, a new bracket inside of the one. This has gone out, so this will be the inside a new bracket. This has gone out of the bracket, this one. So here inside will be minus one, zero. Therefore, the first factor, either, this step is called factorization. This is this step where the middle has been split into two is called splitting middle term, okay, in factorization. Either, fact, first factor 10x minus 1 is equal to 0, gives you 10x is equal to minus 1, shifted to right side, plus 1. x will be 1 divided by 10, 10 will come down. Or the same thing, but we have to show, so 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 10x will be equal to minus 1 shifted to right side plus 1. x equal to 1 and 10 into shifted to right side come down. Therefore, the required roots means values of x are called roots r. First one 1 by 10 and second one also again 1 by 10. They have identical roots in the last one. And even the previous one, I think, completes the part for test 4.2a, okay? I hope you got it, okay?